And welcome back to Hype Train. I've got another gaming trailer, or should I say trailers reactions for you. That's right, that is plural. I've got multiple reactions coming in this. I've jumbled them all together, put them as one, and they are to do with like the Dark Souls or Bloodborne franchise. And I had a little dive into looking what it was about, and apparently um, the Dark Souls or Bloodborne or both of them may be quite hard. So yeah, that don't bode well for me. But yeah, we've been asked a number of times to take a look at Dark Souls and Bloodborne, maybe put them all together. So what I've got for you is Dark Souls intro cinematic, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, both cinematic intros as well. And then following on from that, I've got the Bloodborne opening cinematic, because yet again, not only is the game meant to be fantastic, but the cinematics are meant to be out of this world as well. And the story is meant to be just immense. So yeah, it sounds all good, too good to be true. So I need to stop dribbling on and I need to take a look. Straight in. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. Everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death, and of course, light and dark. I'm engrossed in this already. Then from the dark, they came. Who? And found the souls of lords within the flame. They don't look friendly. Was there like magic in this as well? The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. Loving that music. Get that score in the background as well. They challenge the dragons. Yes! Carnage! Oh, get a load of that. <laughs> Thus began the age of fire. The cinematic is stunning. I don't know when this came out. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. It's like the ring of fire. Was that that was just the first one? Ecky fun. That was pretty good work. No, completely missed that bit. Didn't miss that. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead.
And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. I don't want to go down there if I'm very nice. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Oh, how lovely. Here we are, knight in shining armor. I never realized there was all this magic stuff going on in there. Kind of makes me want to play Diablo again now. Oh, we're gonna get gameplay. Nope, there goes that one. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. And it's done by From Software, not exactly a small company, are they? And these are just the intro cinematics. I wonder how the in-game cinematics are as well. Probably none. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. This is An dark. Of darkness. I mean, I know it's dark souls, but. Your past, your future, your very light. That's just freaky. Oh my word. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls. A hollow. A hollow? Long ago, in a walled off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. Nope. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. I hope not. She's just freaky. A really well tell, told story, I must admit. I ain't got a clue what's going on. I'm just loving all the score and the sound effects behind it. That's really that's well done. For that, 
is your fate. You ain't gonna jump the in there. Fate of the cursed. Then she got up, fell in, to be fair. I'm guessing it didn't end up well. I want to know what happens after. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Dark Souls 3. And the Lords go without thrones. <laughs> Come on. Get on your feet. It's quite dramatic, aren't it? Tell me you got to defeat that. Only in truth, the Lords will abandon their thrones. Kindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that ash. Just before we get into that Bloodborne one, that's quite interesting because for me, I'm like, I've read a little bit about the Dark Souls and the Bloodborne, and apparently they're not like that connected. That's from what I've read, so it's quite interesting to see why people in the past said, "Y'all do all the Dark Souls intros and then do the Bloodborne intro." I'm intrigued to see just how similar it may or may not be. So yeah, I'll go for it. Pre-order now. I don't think so. It came out. Oh, 2016. So Bloodborne was only like a, year, a couple of years or so ago, from what I remember. It's got that same eerie feeling to it though, I'll give it that much.
What on earth? <laughs> oh. Now that's a weapon. That can't be it, I've still got 40 seconds left apparently. I'm waiting for the jump scare. I don't, don't, don't think they got it. Blow my neck! I don't know. That's actually quite quite compelling, that one, ain't it? You get the first three, and it's narrated by some dear old lady witch thing. Whatever you want to call her. Whatever her name is. And then you get the Bloodborne one, and that's actually, like, no narrator in there, is it? But that's equally as compelling as the other three. Is it actually worth playing the Dark Souls games? before I play Bloodborne. That's an intriguing one to know, because I do love a good RPG game. And I am also aware, apparently from what I was reading, that these are quite complex, or they can be quite complex for the majority of people, so that don't bode well for me. The cinematics themselves, absolutely fantastic. Are there more cinematics in the game? I'm guessing there probably will be. There might not be many, but yeah, I need to, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm, I need to dive a little bit more into this world of weirdness anyway so yeah um if you can help me out by all means please do other than that if you're still here thanks for joining me stay safe in these hard difficult times at the moment and i'll see you real soon